A program to encourage residents to install solar panels in their homes has once again hit a stumbling block. The state says it has reached its limit in approving permits. That means residents can only get approval for solar panels if they also install self-storage batteries, which will cost thousands of dollars more. We wanted to know why there was a limit and if it's even worth getting solar panels with the added cost. Manola Morales got some answers. Manola. I went to the Public Utilities Commission and asked the chairman who tells me the limit is necessary. Solar companies say it's a bad idea and have already asked the PUC to raise it or better yet, get rid of it. The batteries can be installed on the walls inside or outside the house. Revolution tells me most homes will need two of them with their PV panels. The cost of two batteries will be about $15,000 with installation. The result's going to be that you'll still save money over what you would pay to HECO, but you will not save as much at this moment as you would have saved under the grid supply program for most customers. The grid supply program is what PV customers have been participating in for nearly a year. They buy the solar panels and any extra energy is then sold to Hawaiian Electric, but the Public Utilities Commission set a limit that has now been reached. HECO says 2,900 customers participated in the program which started in October. The head of the PUC tells me the cap is necessary for the safety of the whole grid. We have to be a little more conservative because if something does go wrong, the whole grid is affected in an adverse way. We're going to have blackouts and everything. Iwasi tells me the PUC also has to reserve room in the grid for other forms of alternate energy as well as give other families the opportunity to participate with what's known as community-based renewables. To reach out to a segment of our population that cannot presently utilize PVs, either because of the cost or where they live, if you're a renter or if you're in a condo. The solar industry tells me this goes against the state goal of relying on 100% renewable energy. Companies will have a hard time selling the self-supply or self-storage systems because of the extra cost of the batteries. According to Hawaiian Electric, only two of those self-supply systems have been installed statewide. 26 have been approved and an application comes in about once every week. They're saying, why is it that we keep getting less and less of an incentive to do this when we're only at 20 percent? We're only at 20 percent on our way to 100 percent. Why are we slowing everything down? And I agree, it doesn't make any sense. No word yet on when the PUC will make a decision on lifting the limit which solar companies are asking for. Solar companies are also asking the PUC to add a time of day rate. Energy used at night will be more expensive and that would be incentive for customers to use the battery systems because they can store the energy during the day and use it at night. Manolo Morales, KHOM, 2 News.